Good early morning bike bike fans. Don't even know my business name. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys how I make my canvas. I was buying some of my canvases in at the art shop because I was lazy, and it's convenient to have uh, sandpaper uh, canvases because they're hard to find. It's not something that a lot of artists use around here. And just to show you what I mean, welcome to my kitchen, by the way. This is a piece of my industrial sandpaper that I use. As you can see, it tells you what the grit of the paper is. It's a 350 or 320 grit, um, and it, it can get scratched, but that's okay. It, 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 as long as it's not a deep scratch, it doesn't affect my painting. So what I do next is I take this piece of sandpaper and I turn it upside down, not to scratch my countertop here or my island that Jeremy made. Now, then I take one of these styrofoam boards. Um, I do this to make it easier for the framer who actually frames this for me. Because if I leave it in this state, it, it can curl and it can cause the pastel to crumble that's within the tooth of the sandpaper. So if I do that, there's a chance that I'm gonna ruin my painting if I don't do this step. So it's a very important step, plus um, it also makes it easier to transport. So I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to go around this side again, and move the other one. Now I come up to my sandpaper, and I just place it over the top. I eyed the uh, piece of sandpaper previously before I decided to cut it, and just make sure that it doesn't matter if it's a bad cut or not. All right, oh, I forgot my pencil. So then I take my canvas, pop it down, make sure it's there. Flush to the edge because you don't want excess because then you gotta cut it off and it's a pain in the butt. I move that over here. All right, I have my line. And I'm just gonna take my pencil and I go down and make a, a line through it. Now, I'm gonna remove this cardboard styrofoam, take my trusty scissors, put it on top of the board to help prevent me from ruining my counter, and I'm gonna cut right through the line. Now, what's really cool about this is I'm cutting with sandpaper, which sharpens my scissors each time I do it. Now, it gets tricky cutting sandpaper because it wants to curl and it's very hard. So you gotta be careful, but just take your time. And this is the hard part. It's trying to get it. There we go. Now, this is still a, another piece that I can use for anything, really. I could get a whole bunch of small ones. I can get one nice size one or a medium size. So I, I keep all of these and I just put them aside. Now, here is the part is not the best. Now, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go outside and spray my cardboard and my sandpaper on one side each. Obviously, I, I'm gonna put it on the inside of the sandpaper and put it on the outside of this. And then I let it set for about five minutes because I want it tacky. And it's not dry yet, but it will be very shortly. So this gives me an opportunity to quickly adhere the sandpaper to uh, the styrofoam cardboard. So I'm gonna go outside and do this very quickly. It's cold because it's very early morning. I have the lights on in here. We don't have much daylight outside. And I will be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I'm back from outside. I'm so glad I did that outside because in the air, when you're spraying with this Gorilla Glue, and I'm not sponsored or anything, but a Gorilla Glue spray right here, it's heavy duty, and this, Paint, or this sandpaper is not going to come off. And the reason I do it outside again is because now 
in the air. This Gorilla Glue, it gets in the air. It's very fine and it gets everywhere. So if you're doing this inside your house, <laughs> you're gonna get glue everywhere and it's gonna make a mess because this does not come off actually at all that I know of without like an, an industrial remover. So I'm going to show you what I do next. So, let me get this chair in the way. Now, this looks a little warped, that's okay. Um, that's gonna happen whenever you spray your cardboard uh, styrofoam. It will go back to its shape, don't worry, it doesn't, it doesn't ruin it. So, let's move the top. Uh, I already touched it, I'm getting glue everywhere. So now comes the tricky part. I have this cut flash, but this is so hard to do. So, it's best to try to Bend it the other way so that when you do this, try to get your straightest corner. Ah, oh, okay, good. I got it. Now it is the fun part. Now we're gonna get that down like that. Take an other styrofoam board put on the top of that piece and just roll over it. Heck, if you want to, ah, get on top, use your whole weight, because I weigh a lot, and just put it all over there. All right, now make sure when you get up, <laughs> you're not gonna hurt yourself if you're over the age of 50, like I am. Ah. Ah. All right, so, Let's do it this side. Now, we're gonna turn it over and press this down. Now, I do have some access. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I'm done. So it was that fast, it was that simple. I now have my sandpaper glued to my uh, board, and now I can start doing an outline sketch of what I'm gonna be working on next. Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.